This video is gonna have the most clickbait title without actually being clickbait. I feel like I'm not doing this right. I am wearing the same shirt as two videos. Badger, do you only own three shirts? Yes, I only own three shirts. Well, sue me. Battle packs. The only thing that's standing between you and the very best weapon skins and melee weapons in the entire game. And for some reason, EA is not allowing us to buy them with microtransactions, which I just don't get. Like this is so can this is so far above my head. I just how how what how, why I. EA not allowing us to buy battle packs with microtransactions like his Apple stopped selling iPhones his Burger King stopped selling Whoppers I don't understand this planet anymore so unfortunately you can't just steal your mom's credit card or like I don't know take out a small loan in order to buy a hundred of these things on origin it just can't be done my father gave me a small loan of a million dollars but I do have another solution and it involves two things that both start with the letters M O and N and as much as it pains me to say it it's money and monster and by monster Monster, I mean a f ton of monster. Like just to do this case opening, I literally bought 30 monsters. Not figuratively, literally. As in there's 30 cans here. I, I don't know what this is. Boy, the bad part is that the pyramid only built 28, so I have two left over now, and I kind of feel like I have to. Hashtag only in battlefield. <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Tastes like cardiac arrest. Ugh. Don't look at me, Clarence. But you shouldn't care about the cans. All you care about are the boxes. They have that blue and orange filter in Battlefield 1. This isn't even sponsored by Monster. I just had to do this because this is the only way to get it without like hard work and effort and I don't want to do that consume responsibly not recommended for children people sensitive to caffeine pregnant women or women who are nursing that cuts out like half of this video the the children part not the nursing part you got the codes on the inside that I have to enter into monster.com to get these 30 battle packs so let's hurry up and open these because I know I'm gonna get some seriously hot garbage in every single one. Oh, I'm so excited dude do I have to start this off a certain way like do I need to shove myself into the lower left and then say something like what's going on guys it's your boy badger coming at you with a new video and uh I was getting these battle packs on this site right this new site that I just found like I found this new site, it's got these battle packs, you can buy them, and uh, you open them up, and it's gonna be nuts, dog. And this is, this is the best battle pack opening I'm pretty sure that's ever been shown on you, ever, ever. Like, I'm, I'm ready to, to get up out of my chair right now, because I'm so f***ing excited, man. Holy sh this is gonna be all 30. 30. I'm pretty sure like the biggest that I've seen on YouTube so far is like 25, maybe 26. We're hitting 30. Hit that like button. We're hitting 30. All right. We're hitting 30. I honestly could not do that for another 30 seconds. I, I can't do that. Please end my suffering. I never want to do that ever again. But okay, I guess we can open these up now. This is going to be massively, massively underwhelming. God, I feel like DJ Khaled with this many battle packs. Go buy yourself a Kaleeb. Go buy your whole family, Khalid. Whoops, I totally forgot that I won left over from the last match. Whatever, I guess it's 31 instead of 30. Okay, here's what we can get. The Mexican, the Doughboy. Doughboy, Doughboy, Doughboy. Essentially, the way this works is I open up a battle pack. I have the potential to get all of these different weapons. And if I don't like it, I can always just trade it in for more scrap, which can buy more battle packs. That's pretty simple. Here's number one. Here we go. Here, it's going to be trash. I'm pretty sure this is garbage. I, I, basically all of these except for the Doughboy look like garbage. So I'm probably just going to scrap everything to see if I can get one of those like rare battle packs. You've got three different types of battle packs. The regular one is 200. The enhanced is 450 and their superior is 900. Basically the more expensive it is, the higher the likelihood of you getting something rare or special. I would rather not sit here and open up every single one in front of you. So let me just blaze through this. And if I get anything special, I'll freak out. Scrap. Royal Order. Scrap. Veteran Soldier. Scrap. And in case you haven't noticed already, they're ranked by color. So orange is going to be the rarest, blue is semi-rare, and anything gray or whitish is just... And there's also this little thing with the puzzle pieces. You can find puzzle pieces inside of the battle packs that all fit together to give you like a Bartek bludgeon or like a sawtooth knife. That's kind of gimmicky, but whatever. 
Okay, here's a 1911 York that's distinguished. That's semi-rare. And I got that after six battle packs, so that should tell you something about your odds. Still scrapping it, though. I want that superior battle pack. Okay, there's a Modelo 1915 VR Dottie, which is legendary. That's the rarest. I'm probably gonna add it to my inventory just for a little while before I scrap it. I don't even think I have this thing unlocked. Okay, there's the Warhorse for the bar. I will definitely keep that. Even though it's distinguished instead of legendary, it looks way better than any of the other skins. I got the Ardotti again. Definitely need that one. Okay, now I have the Mexican and the Warhorse. Now all I need is the Doughboy. I better get the Doughboy. You can already see what you're gonna get as soon as he opens it up because you can see if it's like a gray light, a blue light, or an orange light. It's pretty obvious. Okay, so I opened all 30 battle packs. I think I started with like 340 scrap. Now I have 1,540 scrap and I scrapped everything that was not these three. The Warhorse, the Ardotti, and the Mexican. Did not get the Doughboy, which is the one that I wanted the most. Now with that scrap, I'm gonna buy an Enhanced and a Superior just to see how they go. Okay, the Enhanced has a blue strip. The Superior has an orange strip. I assume you get that level or higher automatically. Let's see. Ooh, Lone Pine. That's nice. And there's a the puzzle piece. They sell for 270 scrap, but once you get all of them, you can get that melee weapon. That's pretty handy. Okay, so I see that you're guaranteed the Doughboy, the Mexican, or the Ardotti, and there's a possible bonus of a puzzle piece. Okay, so I got the Ardotti, but that whole battle pack opening was way more dramatic than it needed to be. But did you see that? That's actually a reason to get a superior battle pack, the way that he opens that. Whoa! Kind of awesome, but kind of a joke at the same time. Yup, it's five pieces for the Bartek Bludgeon and the Sawtooth Knife. That's gonna take me forever. Unless I buy more monster, which I definitely could. On a slightly different note, I totally lied about that Calibra guide. I'm not even close to having it unlocked yet. Because I thought it was regular level 10 when you get it. It's scout level 10 that you get. And those are two totally different things. It's not like leveling up scout is that easy when my aim is that terrible with sniper rifles. Even though the sniper rifles are extremely good in this game, I keep getting shot in the face and turning my view model into doom. I don't get it. Then again, who needs to be accurate when the bayonet exists? And that kind of started out as a joke during the alpha and during the beta. It's not a joke at all anymore. It's legitimately what I will use every single time if that guy is within 10 meters of me in close quarters. Seriously, don't even think about pulling the trigger. Just slam on the F key like that girl that you had a crush on back in middle school or junior, whatever. Is your enemy engulfed in flames? Bayonet. Did you just get Rambo revived? Bayonet. Are you clearly outgunned from five meters? Bayonet. I've gotten so good at it that I can snake my way after people and fight the aim resistance. It makes me feel disgusting. <laughs> I'd say the biggest thing that confuses me about it is every time that I think I have it made and I'm easily gonna slice this guy open, he kills me. <laughs> but then every time that I think I'm gonna die, it somehow just works out. And another thing, I have no idea why, but the names in this game are so incredibly accurate. I was not expecting this. Yeah, like Cool Kid Caveman, he happens to be a cool kid camping inside of a cave with a turret. Confused bread man not only looks confused, but he's also got that brown jacket on that makes him look like a gingerbread man. You're a monster. The only guy that recognizes me in game has the name of Mad Killer underscore XXX. That's really surprising. And even more of a surprise, the guy with the name of I am that Kyle is a total f Just a complete f But overall, everything that I've experienced so far, I just write it off. Like this is just Battlefield. It's just Battlefield. Like, am I surprised that every endgame screen is some anime weeb lord in first place? Me with a smug f eating grin and some giddy looking raccoon eating a box of Cracker Jacks? <laughs> no, that's just me thinking, yup, that's definitely Battlefield.